Jump start for Sidaris and it's lights out and away we go and it's a decent start it looks like from that track there. Uh, teammate Wat Patowski is alongside and doesn't seem to be fighting them too much. No, they slot in behind and into P2 they go. So it is Alfa Romeo 1-2 and then, oh, that spike all the way off and then someone really off in the background. Someone's gone all the way across the ground and also a trip off the circuit as well for them. Not good at all now. Fighting up at the front. We've got Silver Arrow alongside with Wat Patowski. And the two fighting incredibly hard. Oh, the Piratella as they come round it now then. And that track is starting to just steam away in the lead of this Grand Prix. And their teammate is just holding everybody up behind them. Playing an excellent team game here and giving them that opportunity to bolt off into this, in this Grand Prix. Which means that Wadbatowski definitely has the pace to catch their teammate. But you can see that gap just extending and extending. I think they may well be defending to try and give their teammate that opportunity to just break away. And with Silver Arrow, Silver Arrow giving King Bart a great toe here. And now they move to the inside. They're going to be caught up behind the Alfa Romeo of Watspatowski. It's Watspatowski versus King Bart. And now McLaren versus Alfa Romeo. The McLaren is just comes off the second best there. And now as they head round through down towards Villeneuve Curve, it's uh, going to be all tight between them. Silver Arrow has lost out as well. Big Down shot now. of that. Uh, they're all really close to one another now, though. Silver Arrow, Massimo Romeo, Spike, and King Bart, and Watabatowski all clumped up together. The field action right. occurring right now, actually. Thinking uh, Silver Arrow, Massimo of overtakes. That's King Bart. That's King Bart going around somewhere. It's box, actually. Sorry, I got a little bit excited about that one. Yeah, it's action packed everywhere. Look at this. It certainly is, it certainly is. So, uh, King Bart heads into the field. And uh, it's DRS aplenty all up and down the field. Now, Silver Arrow is very close to Watspatowski here, but it looks like Watspatowski is just deploying and deploying and deploying. Uh, they have nearly no battery left. I have a feeling they're just saving up everything to use it all on the start finish. Down towards Villeneuve Corner. And uh, nope, no movement that time. So as they head into Tosa, will those soft tyres on the Mercedes give them the opportunity to dive up the inside? They don't go for it in the end. They just stick in behind the Alfa Romeo. Boofed it. Uh, but now further up the road, we've got Silver Arrow right on the back once again of Wat Uh The Alfa Romeo driver this time not going to have enough ERS to deploy all the way so down their stuff. overtake. Trying to get by them as well. Uh, so both drivers using overtake. Wat is draining the battery as much as they possibly can all the way down there. Seven, six, five percent. Four able to take the position there. Massimo Romeo has taken advantage of all that uh, kerfuffle going on. Silver Arrow gives the position back, but he's also given positions to Massimo Romeo. To, to, to be that blocker to his teammate to allow Nat Track on the tyres to get up the road, which he's Ooh, done. Right, just, yeah. just to interrupt you there, uh, we've got Silver Arrow now making that move on Wat Patowski. Unorthodox place to do it, up the inside in the Varianti Alta. And now as they head through there, also Boof has gone off the circuit, I think, as well. Battles they now try to move to the inside of Watabatowski into the corner as they head down to the Rivats as they're side by side, they're wheel banging one another. Watabatowski isn't having any of it, forces the McLaren off the road and they're then overtaken by Spike in the outbeat. Rashid gets a three second time penalty. Uh, so. Bad news for them, uh, just a bit too much of abuse of track limits there, you would say. Uh, but it seems to have worked for them. They now go side by side with Booth. They've overtaken the McLaren down into they the Rivazzo. Side one. by side with Booth. They've overtaken the McLaren down into the Rivazzo one. Brilliant move! Oh, and it's all too, all too easy, all too easily done. They've spun round, just lit up the rear tyres. What had been a fantastic move, I think I just cursed them out getting by Luke there. Uh, but they're very close to one another on circuit. In fact, so close that Luke has gotten back by the Ferrari there. Uh, so the soft tyres still have a decent amount of purchase. Nine button. of this Grand Prix here in Imola. So we're just watching on board now with Silver Arrow, the Mercedes driver just caught in this DRS train now. Uh, Massimo Romeo not quite able to mount the challenge that they may like up against One Luke. camera to keep the camera angle. It looks like Bufus actually got past as well. What if oh, dropping left, right, and center? Oh, yeah, there it is. What if Patowski all the way around? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I think that that spun a spin now, made. Uh, they're doing a little pirouette for us. Uh, so back to the front of the action then and uh, it's uh, as you were up in the lead of this race oh big slide for Massimo Romeo there coming out of the Tamburello corner that's given Silver Arrow the opportunity to just get onto the back of them a bit more really hard one another uh, we've got Massimo Romeo now finally now seeming to make that move past the Red Bull they go and maybe this is the point where Luke's tyres are starting to drop off it is lap 11 it's just almost side by side into Tamburello we go and oh the Ferrari maintains the position uh, once again we seem to have a visual glitch on yeah. the stream go and now they'll have to defend into Tosa this is not an easy place to defend your position if oh and there we go around the outside goes Luke and now oh, there in a Ferrari oh and there's a bit of a tangle Silver Arrow got caught out he had to lift a little bit did he lose a bit of front wing I'm not quite sure don't speak too soon they are definitely brilliant this is the division one tier one best of the best at the moment neither is uh, Massimo Romeo but Luke is Luke losing a uh, using a bit of that overtake which they have stored an awful lot of so expect to see Luke do well on their outlap here uh, lap 13 is maybe 
uh, just keeping those tyres in a very, very good place now uh, to be able to just keep on cracking on, keep plugging away at the at the Ferrari uh, with uh, no loss of pace. Luke's seems. now boxing, Luke's at no, and it's enough. And there's the Red Bull into changeover, no doubt, to those yellow strap mediums. Absolutely. So down the start finish straight they go then Massimo Romeo and Silver Arrow. Any chance of overtaking Luke through this pit stop phase, but as things are at the moment, they're just too stuck behind the Ferrari, but this might present an opportunity right up the back of them then, into Tosa we go, and they're taking a slightly wider line then, wider than the Apex, just carrying more speed around, a longer day there, and that's Massimo Romeo running very wide at the exit of Piratella, as the head down is Aqua Minerale will that Ferrari continue to struggle? Yes they do! All the way off the circuit, and Silver drives clean around the outside of them and up into P2 goes the Mercedes now boxing, that track the leader so race leader pits, and so does Silver Arrow. Uh, it's going to be a swap over of tyre compounds. So Silver Arrow onto the mediums. There we are. And then Knack Track will go. Uh, so we should punish it for doing so. Uh, so uh, Silver Arrow's got traffic. Look at this. One, two, three, oh, four cars. That's not what you want. Oh, and no. the Alpine. They're being chased, hounded, rather, by Massimo Romeo, who has lost that position to Silver Arrow and uh, lost an awful lot of time to Luke. Again, like you say, uh, that... Uh, under that traffic situation, especially the Ferrari driver stuck behind back road that's still yet to box, it's gone a little bit of pearl Absolutely. shape there for the Ferrari. Absolutely, but it, so might, it, but it might change here in this battle, at least. Uh, we've got Luke now defending hard from Spike, the championship leader, who is also trying to defend from the nearest championship rival now, just within two tenths of the Alpine driver. And the Alpine is going to have their DRS open. They're going to try and get a move done on Luke here. They're just closing and closing and closing and closing. Will they be able to make it work? Over and to closing the and closing. Will they be able to make it work? Over to the inside in Tamburello they go. And it's side by side through this first turn. It's very tight between the pair of them. And then a bit of a bit of a holding up there. Good gamesmanship from uh, Spike, you must say. But now, Silver they're back out of it at the last possible second. But that's given them a good exit as they head down into Tosa. And so they're right on the back of Luke here. Uh, this is a good fight here and a fight which could have important championship ramifications, of course, uh, with uh, predicting a Luke overtake here. They have the DRS. They have loads of battery available. They swoop up the inside of Spike and then Spike, uh, lucky enough to just have enough of an advantage over Silver Arrow where they do not lose a position out to the Mercedes advantage drivers. over Silver Arrow where they do not lose a position out to the Mercedes drivers. So it is Spike once again. Oh, and very wide. Spike very wide through the exit of Tamburello as they head now down to Villeneuve. It's side by side. Silver Arrow and Spike. It's the championship protection. Side by side with one another, they head now down towards head down to Villeneuve. It's side by side, Silver Arrow and Spike. It's the championship protagonist. Side by side with one another, they head now down towards Tosa and Silver Arrow. Silver Arrow gets by Spike, and this is a brilliant bit of racing between these guys. Absolutely amazing. McLaren and as they now get the power down, they're going to be chasing all the way down to the Ravazza, and uh, we'll wait and see as to how that move goes. And now up the inside, in fact, before they get to the Ravazza. Uh, King Butt was certainly thinking about it, but now on the start finish straight, we've got this battle. Uh, King Butt was certainly thinking about it, but now on the start finish straight, we've got this battle. We've got Silver Arrow versus Luke, Red Bull versus Mercedes. It seems awfully familiar for, at this point in the season in Formula One. And now around the outside in Tamburello, Silver Arrow gets that move done. Brilliant move from the Mercedes yeah, driver. I completely agree with you. And I think that a special mention needs to go out to Knack Track here. Uh, Knack Track has driven an absolutely superb race. There's a big slide there for Silver Arrow. They've gone off the circuit, and that allows the Red Bull of Luke to just swoop on by them once again I think that if and Silver Arrow is really to... early you see then that Silver Arrow is able to get by Luke and then up the inside they go down towards the Tamburello corner and uh, Silver Arrow just making that one look the Tamburello and uh, once more Ma Luke makes it look easy maybe it could have been a bit easier for themselves uh, they've gotten it done a bit earlier as it was it was down Silver towards Romeo. the breaking it is a battle all the way from P2 down to P6 but now it's a change in position change of the guard so Silver Arrow goes up into P3 uh, just ahead of Luke, who didn't get use of DRS from uh, Waspatowski, just up ahead. absolutely gun this. They, they, this they, they're gonna, you don't, you're, gonna, you're not gonna need extra couple of millimeters gap in that DRS. He's gonna have the tires of all tires. Enormous amount of battery saved up, and they're gonna deploy all of it here. Let's have a look. So down the start, finish straight. They go. DRS opens now. And now as they head down towards it, look at the overspeed. Look at how quickly they just pass the Mercedes there. And then up the inside they go. It all looks like a formality. Oh, air. massive overspeed. Sorry to interrupt there you, you there, but Spike, enormous overspeed there, heading down towards the first corner. But the problem was is that Silver Arrow and Luke were just taking up both lanes of the road. It's such a narrow circuit here yes, at MLS. It looks like there's one driver right now getting in a fantastic position to want it, and that is Silver Arrow. Silver Arrow gets that DRS open. They're using a little bit of overtake, not too much. 
Uh, of course, they are running very low on that particular resource. And now down into Tamburello they go. And they completed that move on Luke. Luke now for, for Silver Arrow into a mistake, into a penalty. And then Spike could perhaps steal this one back. But yeah, how will that affect his championship? Obviously, he's thinking of a championship right now, not just of a race win. It certainly is. And it, ooh, big moment there for Spike, actually, coming through Villeneuve Curve. Pass Luke once again. They're at it. Left, right, centre. They're like school kids in a playground. You can't separate them. Send them to the principal's office and they keep fighting the next day. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, straight we go then. Silver Arrow is making use of the overtake. So is Luke. DRS opens up for the Mercedes. Now, will they be able to get onto the back of the Red Bull? Will they be able to make this happen on circuit? Or will they have to settle for just inheriting the position after penalties? It looks like down this DRS straight, it will not happen. Yeah, coming up towards the back of back row, uh, presumably to lap them. And uh, as we look back then to this battle that is still going on between these guys, three and a half tenths the gap between Silver Arrow and Ramatsu on. Through they go. And now as they come round the final turn, it is Natrak who will come across the line and win round number nine, uh, rumba, um, number ten rather, here in Imola. And it's only the second win for them this season. Second win this season. Silver Arrow comes across the line and inherits P2 from Luke. Spike then comes across the line and also inherits a podium position off of Luke. And then Massimo Romeo, uh, Luke, uh, sorry, Luke, Massimo Romeo, Booth. Then come across the line on the round 10. What's well, correct? So round nine then is a win for Knack Track, the first driver in season four PC Division one to get two wins uh, in the FRS here. With their first one coming just a couple of rounds ago at the last sprint event. Oh, Today is Spike. Uh, I would have to give that driver of the day to our race winner, Knack Track, who has just done an absolutely faultless job from start to finish.